So as you might know, in Skyblock, I have my myth busting series, and I realized I haven't done that in a while. So that's what I did today. Basically, in the myth busting series, I test random stuff in Skyblock. It gets pretty dumb and stupid. For instance, here's a clip of me trying to kill a Revenant tier 4 in 6 seconds. That was pretty quick. Anyways, let's just get right into it. Alright, we're going to the dark auction because I want to try something kind of interesting. I'm gonna, I'm gonna deposit my money. I'm gonna take out 400,000 coins. That is not 400,000. So I want to test what happens if you die in the dark auction. <laughs> This is so dumb. So obviously I have a piggy bank because I am prone to losing many coins on death. What do you mean? What do you mean we're already full? No, oh, okay. Phew, I got in. Alright, so if I go here, power six, terrible, don't want it. And we're out. I am stuck. There we go. I don't know what'll happen if I'll warp to my island, if I'll lose my coins, if I'll just get teleported back, but yeet. Alright. Oh my god, the map's all bugged. Wait, I'm outside. I can't even get in. <laughs> okay, wait, now I'm stuck. How do I get out? So I spawned up here. All right, let's try it again. I might have an extra piggy bank. Oh, I do have an extra piggy bank. All right, we'll just crack that one as well. I guess I could spam again. Well, there we go. All right. <gasps> Yeet. Come on, what? what is that? Why is it all square? What? is all that bro i don't know what any of that is i don't have bat person so if i want to like actually investigate it all right it started there we go all right yeah it's just all empty and stuff and i don't know why so i want to just kind of see like you've got obviously the these spiky areas but then you have these areas down here which do go to the bottom of the map so i am pretty close it's all wacky man you've got like these massive squares in the ground i don't know what's happening now something i've wanted to test is what happens if you have a completely broken piggy bank and a normal piggy bank whenever you die so this is really simple to test i'm gonna actually test it in this way and that way so maybe it like prioritizes it by inventory so i'll put this there and then i'm gonna jump in the void with fifty thousand coins all right luckily i have no potions on besides that yeet all right which will activate my piggy bank broke that makes sense so i'm gonna repair this and i'm going to put this here now i'm gonna put that right there instead and i'm gonna see which activates let's use a cracked piggy bank instead and it cracked so it prioritized the highest one all right now we have two cracked ones so i'm gonna see what happens if you fall in the void <gasps> only one broke Okay, not not bad. So basically how it works is that it'll use your highest level piggy bank and then it'll do it by inventory because this one was more towards the top left. So it used this one first. Now in Skyblock, I'm prone to losing a lot of money. And I mean like millions and tens of millions of coins. It happens on videos and accident. So I have a normal piggy bank, but I also have a remnant of the eye. And I'm gonna go make a saving grace right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There we go. Got the saving grace. So I think I actually kind of tested this before, but I never used a piggy bank. So I want to see if I lose any of my coins or it becomes cracked or anything like that. So I'm going to go in the end and just fall off the map, basically. <gasps> Yeet. All right. I don't know what will happen, but I have both of these on and I went to my island. Why didn't the piggy bank break? I mean, I guess it makes sense, because if you have a remnant in the end and you don't really die, you just normally go up. Okay, I guess that makes sense. I, I always get these high expectations for these videos, and then BAM, just nothing happens like I thought it would. Now, there is an item in Skyblock that I want to try, and it is the Flint Shovel. Now, I'm sure you know what the Flint Shovel is, or you could guess. So here is the Flint Shovel, you get a 100% chance of receiving Flint. I want to make one of these and put Silk Touch on it. Alright, 10 Flint, 2 Sticks. Where's the flint? We got the flint shovel. All right, cool. Now, I'm going to put silk touch on this because I, I'm just going to. Silk touch. There we go. I don't even have telekinesis. Give me that telekinesis. There we go. All right, so I don't know if I'm going to get flint or I'm going to get gravel or anything like that. So, I don't know. We're going to find out. I got flint. The silk touch did absolutely nothing. Well, this is not working as I thought. It is actually a pretty good way of getting flint though, not gonna lie. I guess it kind of makes sense because it probably prioritizes the flint over the gravel and silk touch won't really make a difference, but... Okay, so right now I'm not on my main account and it's because I am on my third alt account, Pickle Fan account. Now, the reason I'm on this is because this is something I've been wanting to try for a while, but I've just, I've been worried it's gonna break everything. So as you know, in Skyblock there's profiles and they all have these different names. I kind of want more profile slots because it'll make things easier. So what I'm gonna get is I'm gonna get a person from my Discord to get 
the same profile name as one of these. So say for instance, I have a lemon profile and then another person has a lemon profile. I'm gonna join their lemon profile and see what happens because you can't have two of the same profile names, right? I don't know. I feel like it's gonna cause a bunch of issues. So this, this is why I'm on my alt account. All right, so what is, I have got two profiles. I have a lime and a cucumber. So we want to get the same profile names, basically. I ha I can make a profile named cucumber. Okay, so there. you have a, I'm gonna delete my lime. I'm just gonna join it. All right, what okay. is the name of this? Oh, it's tomato. Uh, wait, what is this playing on cucumber for me? Oh, really? Okay, so that might have been a little bit confusing, so let me explain it better. So basically, I had a profile named Cucumber, and on the other person's screen, it said if he creates a cop with me, my alt account, it would have the name Cucumber. So I'm like, oh, there'll be two of the same profile names. But that that just didn't happen, and it kind of renamed it instead, which I guess makes sense, because if you have two of the same profile names, that'll probably just break the entire server, you know? There's been something on the back of my mind that I've been wanting to test for a while. Can you till soil with a reaper scythe? Let's test it. This myth was suggestion from the legend himself, Technoblood. I- I'm not even kidding, he asked me to do it, so I'm doing it. So we will now continue this video by tilling the soil of my entire island area, I don't know. Alright, I don't know if this will work or not, but we have a, a nice maxed reaper scythe. Unfortunately, I couldn't get harvesting 5 on it. Bam! It didn't work. This isn't working, guys. This is not working. You know, maybe the grass is bugged, maybe this grass- nah, it won't work. This item is terrible. Can we throw it out? I don't want it. Oh my god, it just went flying. Alright, so I have acquired 161 items. Alright, so we have a Titanic experience bottle. It's rare. It's pretty cool. And then we have 160 grand experience bottles. It costs the exact same amount of lapis to make 160 grand as it does one Titanic. So which is better? I've always wondered if a Titanic or a bunch of grand is gonna do better. So basically, I'm just gonna splash all these, see how much I get clear it out, then splash this and see how much I get. And to make things a bit more interesting, I'll make an experience 4 potion so I gain 20% more experience orbs, because why not? There we go, 40% more experience orbs, what? That is a lot of experience orbs. Alright, experience 4. Also, I don't know if this helps at all, but apparently you get like more experience orbs, but it's only from ores. I'll still try it anyways, I might get more. In total, that should be a lot more experience, so if I splash this titanic... 292 levels, what? Okay, so we got 292 levels with a Titanic, but now I have to see how much I get from all this. <gasps> we got less. We did not hit 292 levels, we hit 287 levels. Uh, Titanics are only meant if you're trying to like do a, a really big enchant, you're doing some mass combination. Grands are just for like quick enchants, like level 64. So I can actually understand why it's better, but dang that was close. Like, really close. Alright, that was pretty fun, and now I'm stuck with an experience 4 potion that lasts for 69 more minutes. Okay, so the next myth I want to test is, well, it's related to a new update they added recently. Okay, so as you guys probably know, there's kind of an issue with Slayer where whenever you're trying to hit your boss, other people try and hit it, and they take your hits. But they recently made it so that a lot of people can hit it at the exact same time. Basically meaning that like a hundred people can hit it at the same time or something like that. And it'll just be like a massive chaotic mess. Oh, it'll be awesome. But I just want to try it. Like what happens if we get like 20 people to do it at the same time? Oh, okay. Well, there we go. All right. I don't know if we have many zombies, but we're just going to see how fast it dies. Uh, this is not going so well. Yeah, there is, there's way too many people. I'd say we get like five people instead. Okay, I guess they're all on it, on it already. And and that was really anticlimactic. I thought it would be like totally moving. And then they just... Put, okay, how much was that? That was 10 seconds. And there we go. And kill these zombies as well. So I'm gonna hit it, of course. But they're also all gonna hit it. I don't even know what's happening. It, that was like the fastest thing thing I've ever seen. Alright, let's see exactly how fast it was. I'm guessing five seconds. That was a seven second kill. Not bad. I will take a seven second kill. Alright, there we go. And the boss has been spawned. I am going to try and slap the boss as fast as I possibly can. And it's dead. I... There's no way that was six seconds. It had to have been less. It was six seconds. Okay. Okay, I got told a totally different method to apparently get super fast times, which actually involves tarantula armor. So I'm gonna try it, because why not?
That did not go as well as I thought. I just got a crit six. Okay, really game? The first crit six or smite six I've gotten in like ages. That was pretty quick. Like once it actually started attacking me, I don't know the time it was, but like once I was actually in position, that was really good. It says 11 seconds for like a good bit of that was wasted, so I'll just have a timer. All right, that is all the myths I have for today. I, I think I said that right. So now one reason I started the myth busting series is because I made this random joke item called the myth buster item in a Minecraft 1.14 single player world. It took like five minutes to make and obviously it doesn't exist. And I might as well continue the joke. So basically, Mini Clune said I'd get the item at 1 mil subs, but Simon said Techno would get the pig ring at 10 mil subs. And he actually got it at 1 mil subs. So clearly, what Mini Clune was trying to say is I would get it at 100k subs. And if I look at my sub count, I'm at like 99k subs. So I'm only 1k away, which means you should click the subscribe button. Also, while you're at it, go follow my other socials like Twitch. I just made the account. I want to stream SP Earth. I'm just not in it yet, but I will be eventually. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!